What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today I'm going to be giving you guys kind of an addition to my Secrets of Beat Making arrangement video. This is a little supplement, so let's get into it. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Production. Today we're gonna to be going over an arrangement video. Uh, real quick, if you guys haven't checked out Bag Up yet at studio1tutorials.com, make sure to stop by and uh, check out the links to the SoundCloud. And you know, if you're looking for inspiration or wanna see someone else's sessions and how they you know, approach mixing um, the type of beats that are on my SoundCloud, you go ahead and check that out. Um, also, I've got a Buy Beats tab on my page so all you artists out there that are looking to link up and want to work and you know just want a good deal on some leases go ahead and stop by studio one tutorials click on the buy beats um tab and you know get to work um now here we have um i i did that tutorial um where i talked about arrangement and using another arrangement I re and, and I was getting ready to do that myself and I just wanted to film um, the the process so you guys can can not just take my word for it but you can really see it so I'm gonna be using machine in this tutorial so um, all my studio one guys just fucking shut your whore mouths and just pay attention to the process it'll be all right and I mean that with love so here we go with um with the arrangement that I went ahead and, and, and wrote out. This is um, from an artist that you guys have probably heard about, this dude Russ. Um his his uh, his song Do It for the Stunt. I liked I like the I like the energy on it. Um I liked the canvas that it gave the artist to for him to be able to do so much on it. Now if if you haven't heard this song just go take a second and listen to it real quick um and if you have heard this song great because you're gonna you're gonna see just just how effective this style is so here's here's the beat i'm working on right now it sounds exactly like do it for the stunt <laughs> Yeah, it sounds nothing like do it for the stunt, but <laughs> that's the point. Um, I, I want you guys to know that you can take an arrangement from a song that um, that just has completely nothing to do with what you're cooking up. So the way that I go about this is, let's see, right here. Um, let me get this looking right. That's my. I always use I always use like pretty much the the same exact color scheme as as like I have in uh, Studio One. Like the red is my drums, and then blue is all the other sounds. So if you guys are looking for this dirty trap kit, it doesn't exist. It's a custom kit that I have. Don't fucking ask me in the comments where I got that kit from. I can just hear it now. So so first um, the first pattern I always do, I name it um, I name it full drums because it's just, it's gonna be the pattern that has all the drums in it, you know? That's pretty basic right there. Um, shit. Piece of shit. Okay, boom. Then this next pattern that I'm gonna make, I'll go ahead and make the, um, I'll, I'll go down to, to where I have my first drum change. The first drum change is coming in the pre-hook, so I'll just go ahead and name this pre-hook. And go ahead and make the necessary changes to it. So I noticed in the original song that the pre-hook was um, was just the um, was just the, was just the hi hat, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take out everything but the hi hats, right? Just go ahead and get rid of all that shit. Boom. Okay. So let's look, go ahead and listen to that. So 
I got that set up. Now I'm just going to let's see. Let's duplicate that first one. And now I have this brand new pattern here that is a copy of a full drum. And I'm going to look. I have I have a section that just has hi hats and bass. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of all this stuff here. Get rid of the kicks and just keep the 808. Um, now this in you know in this original song they're using a synth bass, but you know because we have the 808 playing the bass line, we're just gonna solo the hi hats and the 808. Let me see what that what we got here. to duplicate the next track and v2 we have drums bass no snare all right so i'm just going to find my snare and i'm going to delete the shit out of it deleted let's see how that sounds Now, now in my song, I have this kind of accent clap going on. Um, it works with the snare. I like the way that it sounds. Um, in in his song, he doesn't have this. So this is one of those situations where you, you kind of make your own judgment call and you use your own taste and inject your own style into the arrangement, which is perfectly fucking fine. It's it's what you want to do. This is just uh, you know like a little basic guideline. So you'll still get the same effect in the energy. So that's V2. Let's see, so we've got, let's go through our sections. I got a, I got full drums, which, you know what, let's not get confusing. We'll label the full drums what they are. Full drums are the hook, right? So I've got a hook, a pre-hook V1 and V2, and that is, that is the arrangement right there. Now you'll notice um, throughout, you know, throughout the actual arrangement of the song, there is um, there's no change in the music. The music just stays the same. It's just the chords going over and over again in his original song. If you took time to listen to it, um, so with mine, I just and and here I made the note to myself. You know, one one melody chord progression or use a sample. So obviously I'm using a sample. So I'm just going to go ahead now and, you know, program this in. So I've got, you know, the first section is going to be the uh, just the intro with the chords. Then I'll go ahead and put the pre-hook in. Then I'll go ahead and put where my hook drums at. I'll go ahead and put those in. Slide this over. Then we've got V1. Now we've got V2. You guys can't see my hands right now, but I'm using the jam to um to do the arrangement, which makes it so easy, bro. I fucking love this thing. Pre-hook. And then we're going back to the hook again. After the hook, we hit where you at? V1. We've got V2. Just switch this over. And we got pre hook. The only thing I don't, the only like machine is awesome, but it's just like with this arranging shit. Like, I wish as I'd make new scenes, it, it automatically went across. Like, it's so weird that it doesn't do that. Like, I have to keep on pressing the mouse. Like, I just want to touch the controller. Pause. Um, <laughs> let's see. So, pre hook, 
hook and then for this last section here it's just a little ride out so we'll just make it just make it no drums oh fuck it don't be lazy let's do it um let's go ahead and duplicate where's v2 let's duplicate v2 call it outro <sighs> and let's see let's see what do they do it's just all right boom so that that is the whole song so you heard you heard what we had before it you know it sounded like you know a hard sampled trap beat and then you're like so you're gonna take this arrangement from this like soft ass breezy r&b song with ep chords and it's gonna sound like a thong all right zebra you're fucking crazy you're not even using studio one uh, what is life let's listen to it <laughs> just like i knew it would that shit works and it works well um now all i got to do is just export this into studio one and get it get a real mix on it right now i've just got a limiter on it um pretty much squashing the shit out of it so you guys can you know hear it better on your systems but when i go ahead and mix this it's you're really gonna be able to feel um you know that that overall um relief when the uh when the full drums come in and and really make that hook something special and that's what i really like about this arrangement is that it gives you so much tension with not with not using the snare through so much of the beat you're just waiting for that snare to drop and you're really depending on your artist to provide like a good a, a good rhythm and a good melody and uh, when you finally get to that hook, it's, it's just so satisfying to hear that drum pattern together. Um, you forget that you're listening to just a repetitive sample over and over and over and over again with that da, 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 da. Uh, see because that's the, that was the challenge i was going through with this with this sample like i really liked the way that the way that the sample came off but it's just so repetitive you know so my thinking was to find an arrangement to where the drums 
added the tension that you would normally get, uh, the tension and resolution rather, that you would normally get from a chord progression or from changing melodies and things like that. And that's kind of the way you got to think when you're, you know, when, when you're arranging beats and when you're kind of um, collecting your lexicon of uh, different arrangements that you could keep on file. Like, you know, like I said in the other video, I have this arrangement, that arrangement, you know, and this list, this list changes and it grows, you know, um, Maybe one day I'll turn it into an ebook for you lazy motherfuckers that don't want to do nothing and, you know, want somebody to do everything for you, you know, and you guys can buy it um, off my site. But you, if, if you really want to get better, um, you want to take the time to do this yourself and, 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 and really study it um, because... That's how we all learn arrangements. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com. If you're looking for beats, stop by Studio1Tutorials.com forward slash buy beats. Keep it simple. Don't be basic, and we will see you on the next one.